Hey, this is Will. So in this video, I'm going to explain what are some of the things, the main differences that you really need to understand when it comes to MailChimp and Moosent. And I do think there is one software that is better than the other. Also, I have made another video on my main channel where I compare all of the email marketing software so i will leave a link down below in the description definitely check that video out also we do have special discounts and bonuses for everything that they mentioned so again all of the links down below in the description and every single week i give out one of my courses completely for free so just press thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel to enter the competition now let's jump straight into the video all right so the first thing we're going to talk about automations because the thing that is one of the most important if not the most important thing when it comes to email marketing so in general i would say that most of the things are pretty much the same when it comes to mailchimp and when it comes to moosent so i'm not going to go one by one through all of the features because that would just be wasting your time but I'm going to tell you a couple of things. What uh, Moosend has that MailChimp doesn't have and what makes a real big difference that you need to take into consideration. So when you're building your automation, you are basically um, saying that, okay, I want if someone um, basically fits a specific criteria, specific condition, I want to take a specific action. And the one thing when it comes to MailChimp, what I think it's lacking a little bit. So if you look at these conditions here, as you can see, you can basically select opened or you can select clicked, was sent, uh, did not open, did not click, was not sent. So what this means is basically if something was clicked within an email, um, then we are going to take those people into a certain step on our automation within our automation however what i like to do and what musend allows us to do is that you can select if a specific link has been clicked because within your email that you're sending out to your subscribers you might have more than one email. And for example, if someone clicked on an email, let's say to go on my social media profiles, I don't really maybe care that much if let's say I am sending an email with a link to my digital product that I'm selling. I really want to know whether they clicked on that specific link and not on some other links. So this is something that Moosend allows you to do, whereas with MailChimp, you don't have that. And that for me personally, I think that is a big, big difference um, that definitely makes me lean towards Moosend. And you can also have a look, they, Moosend has a lot of different variations. So um, as you can see, also they have all of these by name and so on and so forth. Um, you can go through all of these by yourself, but I will say what's pretty cool that not a lot of actually um, email marketing softwares have is you can also say by number of campaigns opened or um, uh, by number of uh, campaigns clicked. So again, you can basically just go, this allows you to sort of um, take it a little bit further and get a little bit more advanced. Again, I don't know whether you're going to use that of um, putting people into different categories based on how many campaigns they open and all of that, but if you want, uh, Moosend allows you to do that. Another really, really huge thing what you get with Moosend is that you can actually split the flow. So as you can see, basically, when someone is going through these steps, you can basically A-B test so you can say, okay, I want um, half of the people or let's say 30% of the people to go to this campaign and 30% of the people to go to this, not campaign, sorry, but the workflow. And then you can basically test out which workflow works better. So perhaps you're sending, let's say, slightly different email or email with slightly different um, heading or uh, whatever it really is but it's really cool that within the workflow you can actually split test and this is something that 
only active campaign and get response also offers out of all of the email marketing softwares and it's very 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 powerful and it's just something that Musen does and MailChimp doesn't. Other than that, when it comes to automations, I would say that pretty much both of the softwares allow you to do all of the main features you really will need to do. Um, and they are very much similar, I would say. Uh, MailChimp does look a little bit nicer in terms of just interface. But as I said, Moosent, even though the interface isn't as nice as Sleek, they do have a few more options and some of them are again very very important and can make a pretty big difference when it comes to landing pages honestly i'm not a huge fan of either of these platforms they could be a little bit more advanced but then again this is email marketing software and it's not a landing page builder uh, but in general i would say they are very very similar uh, i do have to give a little bit more props maybe for mailchimp uh, just because I'm not a huge fan of this interface on Moosent. I'm not sure why exactly they're doing it like this. Um, you have these gray lines here for the design. Um, when it comes to the actual blocks and all of that, they are very, very similar. I would say um, Moosent does have a couple of things that uh, MailChimp doesn't. So they do have timer. Uh, which can be, I would say, very useful if you want to create some urgency. Uh, whereas with MailChimp, you can insert your own products and you can do the same with Moosend, uh, but with Moosend, basically, you need to have some sort of e-commerce integration already connected to Moosend. So if you're using, whether it's Shopify or WooCommerce or whatever it is, whereas with MailChimp, um, you can have your own products created so you can so it's a little bit easier to be selling straight from the landing page but in general i would say i don't really see a massive difference when it comes to the actual landing pages when it comes to templates for landing pages which can be very useful uh, mailchimp has 10 different templates and honestly they are super super simplistic i am very disappointed why MailChimp has so very few and they don't look great. Uh, Moosin definitely has more options and some of them they are a little bit more like actual landing pages, actual websites. So definitely when it comes to the templates, at least a Moosin wins on this category and it can be very useful, um, especially if you're not a designer, it can make the whole process much faster and easier. When it comes to Pop-Up Builder, again, these both of these platforms, I would say they are very, very similar and the Pop-Up Builders are very simple. You just have your image, your text, and you can just customize basically those things. I will say one thing when it comes to Moosent, I can just press on the image and I can resize if I want to make the image a little bit smaller. So that's one little uh, nice thing for Moosent, but in general, again, I would say pretty much exactly the same. When it comes to building your actual newsletters or your actual emails, again, I would say both of these platforms are kind of the same uh, when it comes to the editing and all of that. Uh, they pretty much do exact same functions. The one difference I would say here is that when it comes to the structure, Moosen has a couple more additional features compared to MailChimp. So as you can see here, they allow you to have these four containers, three containers, uh, whereas with MailChimp, you don't have that. You have a thing basically up to here. You have these options here. And another thing also, you have a timer when it comes to Moosen, which is another little nice thing that you might sometimes want to have if you want to create some urgency within your emails. But other than that, I would say basically the same functionality, the same type of looking emails. Now, when it comes to the overall interface of both of these platforms, I will say that MailChimp, even though they are kind of pretty much the same, as I already mentioned, they kind of have all the same features. Moosent maybe has even a little bit more. Somehow <laughs> MailChimp makes it look like they have a lot of stuff going on. And I do think that, especially if you're just a beginner starting out with email marketing, MailChimp platform can be a little bit overwhelming and a little bit intimidating. And it's not the, it's not super difficult or anything, but 
I would say it's not the easiest to use per se. They could have a little bit better user experience. Whereas when it comes to Moosand, they are very, very simple. So again, when you go through all of these steps and all of that, um, I think it's very intuitive what to do on what to press and so on. So I definitely have to give a point here for Moosand. I do think they are definitely easier to use. But the one thing that I'm not crazy about is Moosan just doesn't have as nice of a design. So when it comes to MailChimp, definitely they have invested a lot of money. They definitely have a very nice, sleek looking design. But again, at the end of the day, it's also you want to make the platform very simple for users to use and not just to look nice. One more thing I have to mention that is different between these two platforms is that with MailChimp, you can actually create websites, which is something that is really unique. Aside from MailChimp, it's only MailerLite that you can do this with. And you can actually create, instead of landing pages, you can have a website where basically you have the menu and you have all of the different pages. So you can have homepage, about, maybe services, whatever you want to have on a website. I do have to say that I had some glitches when I was doing this with MailChimp. I'm not super impressed. And obviously it's not as good as an actual website builder, whether you're using WordPress or some landing page builder, it's not going to be as great, but as you can see, you can still create a pretty decent looking website and you do have um, these few different elements that you can add. Um, you have your text, images, so on and so forth. So if this is something that you know you will definitely, definitely need, then MailChimp might be the better option. Though again, do keep in mind that as I said, MailerLite has this as well. And I have made a video of MailChimp versus MailerLite and MailerLite is definitely the better platform. All right, so now when it comes to pricing, first of all, MailChimp has a completely free plan and they allow you to have up to 2000 contacts on their free plan. The thing here is though that they do have a lot of limitations. So on the free plan, you don't have all of the multi-step journeys, um, A-B testing, custom branding, so on and so forth. And as you can see, you don't have all of these features either, uh, which basically means, uh, to put it very simple, you don't have a lot of automation features that I think are really essential for an email marketing software. So I'm not honestly super impressed with the MailChimp free plan. When it comes to Moosend, on the other hand, you also have a completely free plan up to 1000 subscribers. But then again, you have to keep in mind that when it comes to MailChimp free plan, even though you have 2000 contacts, you are actually limited to 12,000 emails. And it kind of depends on how many emails you are going to send out to your contacts. But if you know you're going to be sending out more than that, and most likely you are going to depending on your list, then it doesn't really make that much of a difference whether you have 1000 or 2000 subscribers, if you are sending out more than 12,000 emails. The thing with the free plan on Moosend is though that you can have a look at this whole list. But basically, the important thing what I mentioned before with MailChimp is that you have all of your automation. So as you can see here, automation workflow designer pre build automations, multi step marketing automations, all of these things that are very advanced features you have all of those included in the free plan, which you don't on MailChimp. And for me, that is a major, major difference. You don't have landing pages included in Moosin. So that is one thing that I wish they did. But other than that, they definitely, I would say, have better um, free plan compared to MailChimp. When it comes to other plans do you, on MailChimp, you do have Essentials plan and you have Standard plan. And I would say honestly that for majority of the people, you will want to go with a Standard plan. And really, if we want to compare these two softwares, I can't really be comparing Essentials plan with Moosen because Essential plan just has so very few features or so a lot less features than Moosen. So really, I need to compare the standard plan. And as you can see, it is the recommended the most popular plan. So I think most of the people are going to go with this plan. 
And if we choose 10,000 contacts with the standard plan, as you can see, it's going to cost $105 per month. And honestly, I think that is pretty overpriced. I think MailChimp is the biggest or well, the most well-known platform out there. That's why I think they are overcharging because they know that they can do that. A lot of people are still going to sign up, but for the futures, I'm not saying anything horrible about MailChimp, but I don't see anything extra so good that you would need to pay $100 per month. And if we look at Moosend, for 10,000 subscribers, you are going to be paying $55 per month, which is absolutely insane. It is so, so, so cheap. It's basically half of what you would pay with MailChimp. And as I said, you are, as you already might have understood, you pretty much are getting all of the different, all of the same features as MailChimp. And as I said, when it comes to automation, you are getting a couple of things extra that are very, very powerful that MailChimp does not allow you to have. So I think definitely it's no brainer. You are getting all of the same features, even a couple of things extra. You're not getting websites, but again, most of the time you will might want to use another tool to create websites anyway. And for all of that you're getting, you're paying just half of the price with Moosen. So for me, it's really no brainer if you're choosing between these two platforms. Uh, do check out my video on MailerLite as well. MailerLite is very good platform as well that I would say kind of rivals Moosen as well in terms of futures and price. And actually, if you are going for annual plan as well, you are going to get discount and then it's going to be only $44 a month, which honestly is insanely cheap. It's really, really cheap. So I would say that Moosend, it might not look as beautiful as MailChimp does in terms of interface and it might not be as well known, but I think you are getting a lot more from Moosend and you are paying basically just half of what you would be paying with MailChimp. So I hope you found this video useful and it's going to help you to make a decision. As I said, I have special discounts and bonuses, all that good stuff. So check out the links down below in the description. And again, I do have a video on my main channel where I compare all of the different platforms so definitely check that video out there are some really good platforms out there that you might want to consider as well and in general if you want some tips and tutorials on digital marketing online business all that kind of stuff check out videos on my main channel if you found this video useful make sure to press thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel put on those notifications stay awesome and i'll see you soon